the saga of finding a place to film our next episode of Gray Hair Can Do continues. I am here with my faithful sidekick, producer, and oldest son, Robert. Hey. <laughs> All right, we actually, um, we are here in Marietta and they have, um, whoa, I'm moving them. There. <laughs> they have a really cool um, park with a little amphitheater and we're gonna go check that out. And then I still think we should go in and make sure it's okay to film there since it's right there. Sure, your, your moral compass is telling you to point that way, you point that way. Well, I don't know, maybe we could just be rebels. We can just it's a public it's a dedicated public forum it, we were within our first amendment rights there you go that's why i have a super smart kid we are right next to the police station so if they wanted to arrest us it wouldn't be very hard they well, just they'd like walk across the little path where they like didn't blunk, blunk, any blunk, 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 blunk. they'd be like hey go arrest those people trying to spread positivity and fun by doing country western line dancing Okay, I don't know if you heard the heavy sigh, it's a lot of words, but dude. Robert admitted, admitted? No, um, you did a heavy sigh. You admitted? Emitted, yeah. He didn't admit to it, he admitted it. Ha! All right, let's go check out this park. Yeah, this place looks sick. Oh, it's totally cool. Okay, no skateboarding or or coasting devices. Okay, we're not gonna be roller skating. Yep. See concerts in the park. Not on Monday, are you? No. Monday is what, the 18th? Yeah. Nothing for the 18th. Yep, Monday's the 18th. So we could either do it down here or up here. Because the sun will be setting that way. So this see i'm still thinking we should see i'll text zach yeah and um i i think we should record it like this time you don't like this lighting no, it's terrible. oh okay so yeah, i would say like i keep saying around four or five I'd probably, I'd probably say around five either early morning or late afternoon because like look about it because okay so if you're filming mom you're filming Okay, hold on. Let's let me let me let's have the director here. Continue. Okay, if you're filming, yeah, and you're in the shadow, oh. and if you put the camera that way, it's going to overexpose. What so is the over camera mean? wouldn't. It's going to mean it's going to be too bright. The camera wouldn't be going that way. Well, look how ugly the backdrop is versus the Oh, bar. okay. See, I thought this was going to be our backdrop. No, why would it? Because it looks like a country western saloon. I mean, it, you could if you wanted to. It's not as much fun. As the park. the park. Well, you're the director. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do it, but the thing is that they're all going to be close shots. So they, there'd have to be one wide angle camera right here. And then me up close. I Again, I still think if we're going to do it, I think it needs to be, the sun needs to be like two, two hours past. Okay. I don't know if you can tell by the look on my face, but I am super excited about this one. And I am going to um, not worry about getting arrested. I don't believe that the park police are going to come and shut down our operation. Um, it was a really cool stage. Robert liked the lighting. Um, we are, we'd probably film like about 5.30, 6 o'clock. So um, Robert and I will be back about 5:30, 6 o'clock tomorrow just to kind of get a look make sure that all the lighting is okay um, I don't know why I'm talking all dramatic 
for cinematic effect, I suppose. <laughs> I was doing that the other day. I yeah. don't know why I do that. So, all right, so um, we have the um, idea of what we're doing. We're learning country western line dancing. We have the location. So now um, I can stop talking so dramatic, and now we need to find something for Brandon and I to wear. I already have cowboy boots. Yep, so is Brandon. Brandon has cowboy boots. I have to get him some jeans because otherwise his skinny jeans are going to go in his boots. Yeah. That is, that would be kind of, that would It'd look be very like Woody. Proportional. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're going to, um, yeah, we need to find what we're going to wear because you know what? You have to dress the part, right? Yeah. Robert says yes. So we are um, going to go see what we can find at a thrift store and we're bringing you with us. Well, that was perfect. That was that stop. I was really worried that we were going to have to like hit multiple thrift stores, Walmart, Target. I mean, I was really worried that we weren't going to find it this, this easily. But I found Brandon a pair of, or Robert found him actually, a really cool pair of Levi's with a Western shirt. So he's all set. Um, we have the boots at home. You have a hat, right? Yep. I don't have a hat, but I don't need one. You can find you one. Maybe, yeah, maybe when I go to the rack. I'm sure you have one in your closet. You never know what's in my closet. And then um, I was going to get a little dress to wear with my cowboy boots, but I found that a perfect shirt. This shirt just screams Wrangler. Like, I want to learn how to do a country western line dance. Picked it up, and we are set on that. So I'm super, I'm super pumped, Robert, you know? It's, we have our location, um, we have our outfits, yes! <laughs> yes! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, so now we have to go home. Oh, we're gonna stop and get lunch and then we're gonna go home and check on Indy. Yep. Yes, so let's go. Uh, we just stopped to grab some Chipotle, but I wanna show you something, hold on. Do, do, do. Did you see that soup plantation? You know, pulling up here, Robert's like, oh my gosh, are they still in business? And I'm like, not this one. I don't know if there's a soup plantation anywhere, but it did bring up the fondest memories of me and my mom um, going to soup plantation for lunches. And we would just have so much fun. Every Saturday, we would go shopping and go to lunch and one of the favorite places for her to go was the soup plantation because like I was telling Robert my mom when she bought something she wanted you know she'd get the most bang for her buck and she'd be like if I'm paying you know 15 bucks for a salad I'm gonna eat every single bit of salad soup and dessert I can and I just remember just really super fond memories of going to the soup plantation with my mom now do you remember when we went there with Auntie Vicky well, I've never been in one yeah, you, it's when you were younger. Oh, so I was a baby. You were a baby. You were a baby, and I remember Aerosmith. Um, Aerosmith music was really popular then. Okay. So it was probably like '94. Oh, so I was four years old. Yeah. No, I don't remember, remember that. Yeah, remember when you were four? Yeah. I'm Ninety years old, Mom. There's no way I remember. Well, the last time I went to that soup plantation was with my sister, and um, so I don't know. I guess the whole thought about this one is the soup plantation brings back really warm memories. Good. Good old soup plantation. Okay. Okay. So Robert, Mom. remember yesterday when we were um, when we were coming back from where did we go yesterday? The park? No, uh, we were driving back from some place or maybe the day before. Anyway, we were driving and you, I'm like, oh, Robert, stop talking so much. You're like, well, I don't want to talk because people think I'm mean. Sure. And then I'm like, nobody thinks you're mean. Yeah. Um, apparently somebody thinks you're mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's accurate. But, but I just don't, I mean, I don't want, I never want anybody to be like, oh my God, he's so mean to his mom. Yeah. But you're not. It's a, you're spicy. Okay. That's a very nice way to say mean. Yeah, but you're not mean. You just say you just say things that hurt my feelings. But you don't. You know. And then here's the thing. I'm just very. I'm a very dry sense of humor. See, now here's the whole dynamic of it, and this is really what I want to explain. Robert and I kind of have like this little like um, way that we communicate, and Brandon also. Yeah. But they're all like, 
Whatever. And then I'm all like, we're no, yeah, that, that explains it. <laughs> so it's basically like a roast. Yeah. We, we show each other how we care by, by belittling and making fun of each other. Yes. Except sometimes, you know what? Sometimes I totally play up like the whole like, oh, you just hurt my feelings kind of thing. But 100%, I'm going to tell you right now, if Robert ever hurt my feelings, I would be like, hey, Robert, you hurt my feelings. And then Robert would stop. <laughs> That's when you're supposed to say, how would you react if I said you hurt my feelings? I'd be like, well, I, I, don't, well, I don't know. I, haven't, I don't think I've heard him yet, right? No, but every once in a while, you've, I have had to be like, yo, that was kind of like too harsh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I apologize. Then, yeah. So, I mean, it's just the way we communicate. and it's, So, being incredibly cruel to each other is our love language. And trust me, you're not the first person to say that because remember when we looked at the grapevine, Daryl would be all like, wow, you guys um, don't really like each other. And because Brandon like, and I would yell at each other at work. Yeah. And then, but yeah, no. So I appreciate you all. I love you very much. Robert um, is, he's got a really sharp witted personality, but um, he loves his mom. At that point, you're supposed to say, yes, I love my mom. Well, you've already said it out loud, so people are going to assume if I don't say anything, then that's accurate. No, you're just perpetuating the the, the falsehood of you being um, kind of... All right, you are my mom. Yes! We got something out of them. So anyway, yes, I just wanted to like... Told you. Told you people would think I'm being... Well, I think it's... I, you funny. know what it is? It's because they talk... Like, I only, I only talk with, like, small little increment of windows... So people don't realize all the other things that See, I, I do. think my driving... Um, Me my, insane. Yeah, my driving upsets you, so you get kind of... Yeah. You kind of clam up and get short. Yeah, um, you're driving and then your overall demeanor. My demeanor is super happy. Okay. Okay, we're focusing on driving. I'm stuck here at the light. Come on, Robert, boogie with me. Boogie, you boogie, boogie by yourself, woman. Yes, so I appreciate you. Do you? Yeah. So I just think it's kind of funny how you're like, hey, I'm going to counteract um, people thinking me, that I'm being mean by not talking and being kind of sulky. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go against my character model. Sulking in the corner does not help. Not your, sulking. You're a sulker. Where do you want to put the camera? You're very broody. I'm, okay, yeah, I'll be broody. Yeah. So show them your smiling face. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm glad we got that on. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we just destroyed that, you know, prejudice of me being mean. Yeah. I finally get to sit down and get caught up on some emails. I tell you, I have so far behind on my emails. And um, I actually, once I get caught up with my emails, it is going to take me a couple of hours to actually go through all my film footage and start putting together my vlog. I absolutely 100% love vlogging. To me, it is, it's the, the niche, the niche niche that I've, I've been looking for since I've been on YouTube. I mean, I started YouTube um, it, and I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to say to you every day. I didn't know how I wanted to represent myself to you on a daily basis. And this vlogging, I absolutely love it. You know, I just feel like we get to hang out every single day and you get to be a part of my family every single day. And it's really very super cool. So I'm hoping that you enjoy my vlogging as much as I'm enjoying my vlogging, but I'm enjoying it a whole lot. You know what? I'm not a fancy person and I don't require a whole lot. And I have to tell you, it's moments like this, it's just moments that I can stand outside and listen to my neighbor with his chainsaw and look at my little dog just sitting there right behind me and just knowing that I get to do what I do every single day. I get to have you in my life. I get to hang out with my kids. I'm sober. And it's these little things that really make me happy. And it's just that kind of happy that it's not fleeting it it's like real deep kind of happy and my final thought thought for today is find what makes you 
that kind of happy. Find that just deep sense of happiness and hold on to it and cherish it and find it anytime you can. And oh, it's not a chainsaw. He's actually um, on his roof with a leaf blower. So final thought of the day, final, final thought of the day. You know what? If you have leaves on the top of your house and you want to jump up there with a, um, a leaf blower, my neighbor apparently thinks it's a thing.